John from Prisma here, and in this video, we're going to learn how to install Postgres on macOS. So what is Postgres? Postgres is an open source relational database. It's been in active development for over 30 years, and it's trusted by some of the biggest companies in the world. That's enough to convince me. So how do we get it installed? The first thing we're going to do is come over here to this download page. We're going to select macOS as our operating system, and then we could download this installer and step through uh, configuring Postgres manually, we're going to scroll down a little bit further to this postgres.app link. Now the Postgres app is definitely the easiest way to get Postgres set up on the Mac. So let's click downloads and we're going to download this latest version. So this is version 13. And once that's finished downloading, we can just drag this Postgres icon over applications and let it go. This will install Postgres in our applications folder. And then we can come down to launchpad and launch Postgres. And we're just going to click open here to say that we trust this application. And so now you should see this Postgres 13 window and also this little menu icon of our Postgres elephant. So the next thing we need to do to get our Postgres database set up is to click initialize. And you'll see this has started our server and it's also created some default databases for us. So this first one here on my computer is called John. Yours is probably something different. This is just based on the user that's currently logged in on the computer. So why don't we look at actually connecting to this user database using the command line. So the Postgres app comes with some really cool tooling to do this, uh, but we need to tell our terminal how to actually use it. So let's go back to uh, the Postgres app.com. Uh, and if we go back to introduction, we'll see that we have installed our Postgres app. We've initialized our new server. So the last part we need to do is just copy these two lines here to configure uh, this command in our path. So now if we head over to terminal and dump both of those in and press enter, and that's going to prompt us for our password because we used that sudo command. So let's type that in and press enter. We now have that new tool installed, but we have to reload our terminal to be able to use it. So once we've reloaded our terminal, we should be able to type PSQL and then we can tell it which database we actually want to connect to. And so mine's pre-filled here, so we can just follow along, but Postgres colon slash slash, this is the protocol we're going to use. So we're going to be connecting to a Postgres database. We then tell it the user that we want to connect to. So this is John in my case. This will just be the user that you're logged into on your computer. We then want to say we want to connect over uh, localhost over port 5432. So this is the default port for a Postgres database. And then we need to tell it which database specifically we want to connect to. And so if we have a look here, we have these three different databases. So I'm going to connect to slash John. And now we're inside that database. And I can confirm that this is actually the database that we're connected to by saying backslash con info. And it's basically just going to reflect all of the data that's in that connection string. So if I quit out of our database by doing backslash Q, uh, something interesting to note here is that because we've used the default configuration, we can actually just type PSQL without any of that connection string uh, and still connect to that same database. So if we do backslash con info, we're connected to that same database. But this is exactly how we'd need to structure our connection string if we wanted to connect to this database from something like Prisma or another ORM. Okay, cool. So now if I'm finished with my Postgres database and I want to stop the server from running, I can just come back over to my Postgres app. I can click stop or I can come up here and actually just quit the Postgres app altogether. And now if I come back to here, uh, I'm still connected from last time, but if I say backslash Q to, to quit that connection and then I type PSQL again, you'll see that I'm going to get this error that we can't actually connect to that server. And so the Postgres app makes it very clear to see whether your server is running or not. and makes it super easy to start and stop that server whenever you need it. And that's it. That's how easy it is to get Postgres running on Mac OS. Make sure you check out our YouTube channel for more awesome videos just like this one. We'll have a link to Prisma's Postgres connector to make interfacing with your Postgres data super, super simple. And make sure you check us out on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash Prisma. Thanks for watching.